Hey, Chuck here again, and today I want to go over the motor choices for the upcoming Aquila Bind and Fly line of quads. So I'll be offering the Aquila in 7-inch and 9-inch DJI-ready Bind and Flies. And today I received a shipment of motors from Brother Hobby. And I've decided to go with these motors because of their quality and affordability. So Brother Hobby, in my opinion, goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of the major brands. I previously used to use T-Motors, but uh, let's take a look at uh, the motor choices that we have, and I'll explain a little bit about why I picked them. So, first up, the motors in the black boxes. We have the brand new Avenger V3 motors in two different sizes. The sizes are 2207.5 and 2306.5. These sizes pretty much represent what most of the freestyle 5-inch pilots use these days. And I decided to go with the 1900 KV and the 2000 KV versions for 6S because I think that having that 1900 KV on 6S really makes a big difference. And I think what Brother Hobby tried to do here is to try to balance out the performance of both of these two different motors. And I can talk a little bit about why I offer each one of these. So let's take a first look at the 2207.5 1900 KVs. Now, these are going to be comparable to a T-Motor F60 that I've used in the past, and these are going to offer the top end. They're going to keep on increasing the revs as you move that throttle up towards the maximum uh, position, whereas the 2306.5s are going to give you that punchy lower end and responsiveness down there, and then they'll taper off a little bit more towards the upper end. So. With the 2000 KV, that's 1000, I'm sorry, 100 more than the uh, 2207s. I think their goal here is to try to get this thing to rev out to the, the high RPMs, but my feeling is that the 2207.5s are really gonna give you the top, top end, and the 2306s are gonna give you that low end punch. Okay, so let's take a look at the white boxed motors now. So I have two different size Avenger motors for the seven inch. So first let's go to the, um, the smallest of the motors. So we have the Avenger 2507 in 1200 KV. And this is intended to be that, that endurance motor, you know, get you out there a couple miles and uh, confidence to, to hang around for a little while and, and fly back. So I think 1200 KV is a good KV for endurance and I'd like to have these new bind and flies to be a little bit more biased towards endurance on the seven. And then I do offer a little bit more power on the, um, on the seven inch. So these new Avenger 2806.5s at 1300 KV, just uh, 100 KV higher than the uh, 2507s. They're still meant to give you that, that endurance, but also give you that little bit more punch, you know, in the lower end. So I'm going to say that these are going to be a little bit more lively. I have a buddy, Mike Co. FPV, that's flying these in a higher KV. He likes the really high KV. And um, I seem to prefer the, the smaller endurance of the uh, 2507, 1200 KV. So there you go. Two different choices for the 7-inch. We have the Endurance in the 2507-1200 KVs, and then we have the Punch and Performance in the 2806.5-1300 KVs. So there you go. The motor choices for the Aquila 5 and 7 RTF, not RTF, Bind and Fly uh, quad line. Okay, thanks a lot for, for watching, and uh, have a great day.